Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love reading, readings. We're just going to see whatever comes up and we will go from there. So this may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does and leave the rest. Ooh, recognition and reward. You guys are already being rewarded. You weren't supposed to be next. Um, somebody else actually had Aries in line to do next, but uh, you got bumped ahead of them. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Rest and reju rejuva rejuvenation. <laughs> I can't seem to talk today, so I do apologize. All right, so those are your two oracle cards. Recognition and reward. Rest and rejuvenation. Woo, that's really good. It's, it is. It looks like you guys are being rewarded for something, and it may be time for you to take a rest. Maybe you are just going through a period of recuperation and you're receiving some answers. That's what it looks like to me because you're taking the time to listen, you know, listen to the signs, listen to your inner guide, listen to your spirits. You're taking the time to really go within. You are probably recognizing a whole lot more and being rewarded by the universe for all your efforts. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are moving along very nicely on your spiritual journey as well. I mean, that's what I see. I feel like there's a feeling of ascension here, okay? Um, it looks really, really good. I will zoom this in once I have these cards laid out. Um, yeah, you've taken the time to think about things, and I think that's part of, part of your reward, okay? You've taken the time to go into this period of reflection and introspection that has really paid off. That's what I see. It, it really feels like you are becoming more self-aware. This card of, often signifies a Jesus consciousness. You're becoming more conscious. Okay, that's what's happening here. I can see that. You're focusing more on your inner being than you ever have before. And because you are being more open to the possibilities, you are being rewarded. You really are. I see that you are. Um, I think that you're letting go of some fears that you've had. Maybe you're letting go of some past aspects of yourself. That's what I see. It's like that no longer serves me. The old me, that's the old. And I feel like you guys are moving into a new um, existence. Okay. It feels like you're, you, uh, are starting to have more positive feelings for a person that probably has some really good intentions for you. You know, I, you, I think that you are dealing with a person in your life that is trying to offer you many, many things and that you have, you've had your guard up and now you're starting to let your guard down and, and that's where I, where I see this, this new existence. You're letting your past fears, your past, um, inhibitions you know what I mean where you have been uh, stuck you know where you've been hurt in the past you're letting that stuff go and you're moving forward with an open mind that's what I see it feels like you're no longer going to go backwards you're 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 looking towards the future with optimism you know that's that's kind of what I see here it's like you're you're making the choice to love more openly all right 
Let me just get these out so that I can zoom this in for you. I want you to be able to see those cards. <laughs> I think you are also being recognized for all the work that you're putting into something. And even if you don't feel like you're being recognized, the universe recognizes it. Okay, so keep that in mind. I feel like you guys have not given up on something and it's starting to pay off. Your hard work, your determination is really starting to pay off. I think you probably went through a period of feeling uh, like you... There was a period of, of uh, lack here, a lack of confidence, a lack of worth. And I think that's what's made you, made this change happen. You're no longer going to live in that state of mind that you're not worthy. I think that you are really changing for the better and that you have taken the steps to really focus on this change. It, it really looks good. It's like the confusion that you had that came about in the past that made you into who you are is starting to dissolve you're dissolving it you are dissolving it okay it really feels fears 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 it really feels like the fear that you have had that has kept you unable to be optimistic is starting to dissolve Okay, that's what I see. It's like you're giving up on the fear. That's what's happening. It's like, you know what? I don't need to be scared of this anymore. I see that you're starting to be more optimistic about the future. Um, but I think it's because there's somebody in your life who is really giving you the emotional support that you've never had before. Okay, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like there's a lot of support here for you that it's like you've never seen it before. You've never seen anything like this before. Um, and now, instead of just living in the past and acting on your past hunches, you're starting to, to think of things in a different light, which is pretty interesting, huh? Now we're just going to get some clarifiers and see what comes up. It's like you're no, you are not going to quit on this person. Whoever you're dealing with, it's like I'm not going to quit. I don't want to quit. It could be children as well, you know, because we have these pages here, and that could certainly be children. But it could be a person as well, somebody who is very mature and loving and kind that has really put in a lot of effort and, and has worked on helping you um, let go of the past. The past fears that you have been holding so tightly yeah so the thing is, is it is fears that you've been holding on to you've been holding on to um, the fears that you uh, that come from your childhood they do they come from, it's like your these fears of abandonment that you have so much ingrained in your soul you know you you're so afraid of abandonment that you haven't been able to really be optimistic about the future with anybody and that's really hindered your relationships and I feel like you've come into a point where you're gonna let that fear of abandonment go as much as you can you know this is the ending of an idea and I feel like you are you're letting that fear go because somebody is loving you unconditionally I don't know who it is it, it, no, this could be a father, could be a mother, could be a partner, could be a friend. I see that like, there's unconditional love here, and it's it's changing you. It's making you feel more optimistic. Anyway, um, but the moon card, something's not as it seems. Okay, there's hidden forces here. This could be... It feels, it feels like there is peace coming to your life. You, you are ending a cycle. That's what's going on. You're ending a vicious cycle. 
and thank God, right? It's like you have been going through this cycle for years and years and years. And I'm thinking it could have been seven years, okay? You've been going through a vicious cycle of not feeling like you were worthy, not feeling like you were good enough. And that stems from your childhood, by the way. I just really see that. And I feel like now you've come to a point where you are starting to realize your self-worth. You're starting to realize it. And that vicious cycle that you have lived in is over. I feel like you are moving to a more peaceful, tranquil time. It's a time of transition. It is. It really is. You are transitioning from a pattern that you have lived in for years into a much better life. That's what I see. And it feels like you there is a like you're compromising okay and whereas before you hadn't compromised it's like I wasn't you weren't going to compromise you were going to live in the past forever and I think you're at this point where you're not it's like okay I am ready I am ready to be together I am ready to compromise I am ready to communicate I'm ready to cooperate with somebody it's like you're wet you're ready to be a team Okay, I'm ready to be the team that I've never had in my life. You know, it's like you've never been part of a team because you wouldn't let yourself be part of a team. And now you've gone, come to the point where you're ready. You're ready. Um, and you're ready to just bring peace and to have this transition. Okay. Um, You've been keeping secrets because here you are, Leo. It's reversed next to this high priestess. You've been keeping secrets, your own secrets, okay? You have been so scared to share your truth, who you really are with somebody be for fear of rejection, okay? It's like you have been keeping silent and not being able to show somebody the real you for fear that you would be unworthy, that you wouldn't be good enough. And I think you've come to the point where it's it's really time for you to take action, okay? It is. It's really time for you to use the wisdom that you have gained throughout your life to share your secrets with someone, okay? I don't know where that's coming from. It is time to take action. The time is now to take action and to speak up and to, to stop being silent, to let it out. You know, it feels like, it feels like maybe this has to do with a father who has silenced you. I'm not sure. It feels like you have been silenced. It could be a mother, could be a father, could be somebody in authority that has silenced you. And now you are coming to the point where I'm no longer going to be silenced. I'm no longer going to be silenced. I am worthy. My intuition is true. I know what I'm talking about. You're going to start to feel more comfortable with who you are. I really feel like it is really time for you to share, to speak up, to let somebody in, to let somebody love you. You know, whereas I feel like in the past you haven't. And I think that if you've had relationship problems in the past, it's because you were guarded, you were unsure, you were afraid to take steps forward, you were afraid. You know, it's like you did not feel like you were solid enough to give, you know, to give to the relationship or they weren't solid enough. There's not enough uh, solidity here within you, within you. It's like you weren't feeling comfortable enough to give it your all. And I don't know where this is coming from. You might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Just want to let you know who we're dealing with here. Um, you know, I feel like things are, are still a little stalled. 
things are still a little stalled because you have you have to let out your feelings you still are holding them in with this high priestess here so you have to really have a heart to heart conversation with somebody and open up and I, that is definitely hindering your progress in love. You have to take action. You really do. Act now. Think later. Act. Act. Take action. Speak up. If you're holding something in and it's eating you alive, speak up so that you guys can get this on the table and you can work it out. Okay? It's like you know that something is, you're not telling the truth about something. And I'm sorry to tell you that. If, if you're looking for something to get better, I see that you, there's something inside of you that is being hidden and you need to let it out. You need to let it out. It's, you know, I feel like things are stalled right now. Things are stalled right now in your life. It's like you, you're, you're starting to see things more optimistically. You're starting to, but you're not making the moves. You still have, there's something you're hiding that needs to come out. That's what I see strongly. You need to, do you need to, um, really be disciplined. Okay. You need to be disciplined. You need to be generous. You need to be kind and you need to be devoted. Okay. You needed to be, be devoted to making this relationship work. And I don't know who it's with, but it's like your devotion has to be shown. And that could be what you're doing, is that you are starting to be more devoted. Um, Yeah, you're still starting to heal. You're just starting the process. You're starting to heal over a situation. There could have been a third party situation with somebody that has really uh, opened your eyes. Okay, that's what I think. I think there's been a third party situation with somebody that really, really hurt you and caused you to be silent, caused you to go within, caused you to not want to be optimistic, you know, caused you to be really, really hurt. And now you're starting to go through the healing process. You know, it feels like phew, there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of heartache. There's heaviness. I'm starting to feel the heaviness. Like, you're holding a secret. I think you want to leave a situation and you don't dare to. You don't dare to. And I think that there could be another offer on the table, but you're still stuck in the past. All right? There's an offer on the table, perhaps with a water sign, but you could be still stuck in the past with an earth sign or with, I don't know who. It's like you're stuck on something in the past, whether it's a family dynamic, could be a mother, father, another relationship, some kind of abandonment that you have went through, possibly as a child or in a relationship, is keeping you stuck. It's like you're being offered uh, love with somebody, unconditional love, but you're not taking it because you still feel like you're not worthy, even though you're having that glimmer of optimism, okay? There's a glimmer of it, and you're being called to take action and to speak up and to spill the beans and stop holding this in, but you're not doing it. You're not doing it for fear of rejection from this person that is offering unconditional love. It's like, that's what I see. It's like there's a mixed message here. I think you're stuck in the past with somebody who has abandoned you and perhaps they didn't choose you, you know, and there could have been a third party situation somewhere and now it's really hurt you to the point where you're like, I don't even know what to do, okay? I feel like for some of you, you, you have another choice in, in love and you just can't take that, that choice at this point because you're still stuck someplace else where there's no forward movement and this person probably um, didn't see you for what you were worth and they silenced you. You know, I do feel that somebody has silenced you and now you feel like you have to be silent. Um, 
But it's a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth, and you're not letting it happen. You're halting the whole progress by living in the past, by not moving forward, by the lack of self-confidence that you have for yourself. Okay, with this Six of Wands, there's lack of self-confidence here. And the fact of the matter is, is that all you have to do is follow your heart and, and look at this in a new light. Look at it from a new perspective. Really, really let something end that needs to end. And I think that you're really close. I feel like there is a death of an idea or a relationship that needs to happen so that new love, this unconditional love can blossom. But you are not letting it happen because you... For one, there's a lot of pride here. For two, there's a feeling of what if I get rejected if I go this route? I, I don't think I can handle this rejection, so I'll just keep my guard up. You know, there is a renewal that is needed, but you are not nurturing yourself enough to do that. Interesting. <laughs> this queen of pentacles is i think you're dealing with somebody or you had been in the past that was juggling okay i feel like you were dealing with somebody who was juggling two people you know or juggling with your mind juggling with your heart they weren't giving you the real deal and now you have reached that point where you have to make a choice you have to make a change you have to make a decision but in order to do that it's going to hurt it's going to hurt yeah it's a karmic lesson you have a karmic lesson here and for some of you you know there is love with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that wants to love you that wants to offer unconditional love but I feel like you haven't learned a lesson yet and it has to do with loving yourself it has to do with being who you are okay it's so there's a lack of and you're under here right here okay you are so the thing is right under this world card okay you have to be have confidence you have to have strength you have to have willpower you have to have self-worth you have to have self-esteem you have to love yourself for who you are you have to have the strength to make the moves that are right for you and until you do, you will continue to struggle. You will continue to be on this path of learning a very difficult lesson. The world card brings about lessons. But if this one is reversed because you haven't learned it yet. And I can see that you haven't learned it because this card is not upright. You have to have the confidence to make the moves that support you. I think one of the reasons why you are not opening up and you're not speaking the truth, why you're keeping this secret about your unhappiness, is because of pride. It's because of pride. Very interesting. What do we have for new love? It's time to speak. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to be honest with yourself, okay? It's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to do the right thing for you, which you haven't been doing, or this card would be upright. It's time for you to face your fears, and you haven't because it's reversed. It's time for you to face your fears so that you can flip this card around, step over the finish line, and start your new chapter, perhaps with this water sign that wants to offer you unconditional love. But I think you're stuck in the past with somebody who didn't offer you unconditional love, who for somebody that was looking for security and stability, somebody to take care of them. Perhaps a Capricorn. I, I really feel like you are deal or you were, you were, and I don't feel like, I think that there's somebody new for you, Leo, there's somebody new for you, 
but you are still stuck on something that doesn't serve you. Lies, deceit, lust, uh, addictions, obsessions, whatever it is. Capricorn, you know, this card can represent so much. You are stuck on something that is false. And it is hindering your growth. It is hindering your love for yourself. It's time for you to have gentle compassion for yourself, but you're not. You're not. You're not letting your rebirth, your renewal happen by staying stuck in this lie that you're living. Many of you are living in some type of lie with somebody that doesn't serve you. When there is an opportunity for new love, there is an opportunity for new love, unconditional love. But you have to let a cycle end. You have to let this cycle that you're in end, okay? You do with these three cards. This is the end, this is the cycle, and this is the water sign. You have to let the cycle end that you're in that doesn't serve you. You have to have the strength, you have to have the willpower, you have to have the confidence and the courage to let it end. To speak your truth, to do what's right for you before this new love can blossom. You're going to have to take a risk, and that's part of the problem. It's time to take a risk. Stop hanging around. You must struggle through this. You're going to have to struggle through letting something end so that new love can blossom. So in February, what I see is you recognizing this, recognizing that you have to let this end. You have to let the past go so that you will be rewarded with unconditional love. Take the time you need to recuperate from whatever it is that you are letting go. And you will be rewarded with unconditional love. But you have to let it go. You have to let it go, whatever it is. You are dealing with something that was not meant to you. It was false. It was a false tie. It is time to free yourself from it so that unconditional love can come in. <laughs> there it is. Yes, it is. Okay. It's clearing away the obstacles. That's what needs to happen. It's time to clear away the obstacles in your mind and in your life so that new love can come in. Now this reading is for couples or for singles. You have some internal struggles that need to be gone. You need to let them go. You need to open up. And if and, and for some of you, it's more than an internal struggle. <clears throat> it's somebody that you are dealing with that doesn't serve you. And you just can't let them go. And I feel like if you let them go, you will find that love. You will find that love. Somebody here wants to offer you love. Unconditional love. But as long as you're stuck in this mind game, it's not going to happen. Somebody is stuck with somebody who doesn't isn't is in a third party situation, and I don't think it's the water sign. I think it's the earth sign. I think who, if you are dealing with an earth sign, this earth sign is probably in a third party situation, and you know it, you know it, and you've just been being silent. Okay, if you are dealing with a water sign, I feel like this water sign wants to. Uh, offer you unconditional love and your own mind is hindering 
the progress, okay? Your own internal struggles are messing up the whole scenario, okay? If you could let go of the past and love yourself and let this person love you, everything would be good. But if you are dealing with an earth sign, you have to accept the truth and do what's right for you. And pride is getting in the way of both scenarios. It's try time to free yourself from a toxic situation in both scenarios. Okay? If you are dealing with this earth sign, if you were to free yourself, I think that a water sign would come in and show you the unconditional love that you so much desire. But you're, there's cycles that need to, to end, okay? There is. There are cycles that need to end, and you are not letting it happen in both scenarios. So I think this is a month is about recognizing what you need to let go of and being rewarded in the end and that's exactly what it is once you recognize what it is that you need to let go of you will be rewarded We're going to read this one first, then we're going to read this one. This is from Doreen Virtue's Daily Guidance deck. Energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. It's time to heal yourself. Leo. You can't expect to heal others if you can't heal yourself. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation. And we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by many universal laws. And among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. You have to ask for this release. You have to ask for this help. And you have to believe that they will help you, and they will. Once you recognize that you need to let something go, you will be rewarded. This could just be a state of mind that you need to let go. But in somebody's case, it's, a, it's an actual person. And I don't think it, I think it's a, an earth sign person. <laughs> That's what I see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you need to let go of. Um, but in another case, I feel like there's, there is love to be had if you would let it happen. If you would just let it happen. Anyhow, that's what I have. I wish you the best and talk to you later.